When it comes to a chair review, there's not much can I say. Is it comfortable? Hell yes. But the most important thing, it's affordable. Now, if you go to eWing, the place where everybody wins, all you gotta use is our discount code in the description below, saves you 30% off, and you get to rock what I use. See the famous said, I hope you will be the commentator's wagon. Hey, much love. Appreciate mm -hmm. you too. See the famous, much love. Trox said, Are you two casters or com competitors or referees? I'm fairly new on Yu Gi Oh! Uh, we're players. He's a Yu Gi Tuber. He's mm -hmm. actually played the game though. He's, you know, he's been a world, uh, he's won Dragon Duel Champions, done a lot of mm -hmm. that stuff. Uh, we both know about the game. We're very knowledgeable. Uh, but he, he, right now, he's been, you know, just sticking to YouTube. He's going to try to play more when it comes yeah. back. Mm hmm, for sure. We're going to see him start off with Desires, and he's playing Zoo. So yes, you guys sir. asked to see this deck. You asked to see Zoo. You got Zoo. Pure Zoo, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen any Trapper Gate mm -hmm. cards yet. Yep. I couldn't tell if he was hand shuffling. It was like three different Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. I was like, that. well, that's either really good or really bad. Yeah. So he's going to make Dryden. See, I really like this first turn play just because it doesn't lose to Nib. I think using what? the effect of Thoroughblade, though, is very risky. Yeah, so, like, you lose to Ogre there. Yeah, or Gamma. Or Gamma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to That's Dryden. pretty good. You don't get yeah. to use your Dryden. So your turn, you, I'm playing through nothing. Like, I'm playing through the four cards. You open the other yep. four cards. Summons Dupe Frog. This is hot, <laughs> you guys. This is hot. And Ryan said no. zero. And he whiptails. No. He gets he banished. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. It doesn't get yeah, banished. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's at zero. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's Valor. He didn't know? So he just wanted to get whiptail and grave? He, he, no, he he didn't know that. He probably, he, I'm telling you, he didn't know that. I mean, that, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, there's no way he knew that. Yeah. That was a huge misplay by the Zodiac player. Pretty sure Chat caught that. Yeah. Desires what? again. Zodiac versus <laughs> Paleo. Do you guys remember this? This was YCS Atlanta mm -hmm. 2017 finals. Mm -hmm. uh, Corey Roca versus, uh, I can't remember who it was, but Corey Roca was playing Paleo. Uh, and I can't remember who was playing Zoo, but Corey Roca won with Mirror Forces in his deck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Avarice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mach yep, yep, yeah. Machado remembers. Machado remembers. Shout out Chase. I went to Worlds with him. Yeah, <laughs> I went to Worlds with him. I wish I had the the opportunity to say that. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, someone in chat said Chase Cunningham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Morosa said, yeah, it's a dub. <laughs> yeah, back then they had three barrage and it was hard to play through Book of Moon. Like, I'd yeah. love to see how they do it now. Yeah, I don't think they are. But, I mean, Zeus wiping your board, though, in Paleo, that's rough. Yeah. That is rough rough i don't think you're really coming back from a feather duster he's gonna ice dragon's prison to take the thorough blade so avarice doesn't resolve that's solid yeah that's ash <laughs> he's gonna normal ram ram oh he's oh, gonna moon that's the that's yeah the, that's he's going phase down mm -hmm. canadia canadia Canadia. He has the reborn has the extender he does Wild. but i think he has another response yeah trap trick yeah Oh, that's another pretty. That's trap trick. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get to bring his paleo out too. I'd get here. I'd get dynamiscus or prison. Like if I have a card in hand, I'm probably getting dynamiscus. D that's D barrier. There's he no plays D -barrier? way he has D barrier. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. So so do you let him go into the extra deck? Um, I mean, he doesn't have Dryden, so it's like he can get Chaka Nine to the Dryden. But like, is that would you lo like even like even let him to get that far? No, I wouldn't let him because he would just make like Dryden or some or not Dryden, but like anything. And then next turn, you have to deal with the Whip Tail. Exactly. He's gonna attack over Dupe and he gets to add Swap. I don't think I killed a Dupe in that situation. It looked like he wanted to attack the Paleo, and yeah. then he was like, you have to attack the dupe. What a lot of people don't know is if you do try attacking, like, the Paleo, 
You don't have to. Yeah, attack exactly. The dude. Yeah, you don't have so to. So many people think that yeah, you no, have to. No, you don't have to. He's gonna use Imprim on the swap frog, but, but that's gonna just bounce matter. it back to hand. It was special the first time or normal? I think it was normal. He's special in at this yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter which way it was the mm -hmm. first time. You're gonna do it again. Yeah, he had like Toad access on board already. Yeah. But Toad is at one though, so remember he can't like make multiple Toads. But he oh no no, it's at two now. Oh yeah 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 yeah, it, did, yeah it just went back to two. It did mm -hmm. just go back to two. We see the third desires in Zoo Hand. You hate to see that. Yeah, that means he didn't banish any desires. No, nope. he drew them all. Man. Yeah. Someone said 2017 match for real. <laughs> this man said, I'm never getting my stuff wiped by Zeus. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. I mean, yeah, we're not letting that happen. We can't come back from one of those. Mm -hmm. Zodiac loses to frogs. That's hilarious to watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, we watched it in 2017. <laughs> mm -hmm. Double dupe is attack lock. So that stopped the Zoo Z that can attack directly? No. Because Borbo allows you to attack directly, so you don't have to declare an attack on the monster. Dupe just says you can't select any other monsters as an attack target except for Dupe. So if I'm not declaring an attack on the monster, I can attack you directly. He's going to use two Rodent Toad in here to make the Toad. Yeah. And he has the Book of Moon in hand. Like, that's so strong. We can see Ash and Desires in the Zoo player's hand. And what is that? That's Ram? a Ram Ram. That's okay. uh, oh, he has the defense, or did he attack it? He just asked the defense. Yeah, he knew the Ram Ram, so it was public knowledge, you guys. Yeah. Just saves time for just telling him. Yeah. <laughs> he said, play three desires, they said. It makes it consistent, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Shot to Space Cadet Zero. That was funny. Hey, I said Ming Lum said the Zoo Dude is definitely screwed this game. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I think I don't scoop here yet though. You know, just because there's a lot of time left in the match. You know, I'm, I'm fine. It's not like either one of our deck burns, mm -hmm. so I'm not I'm not afraid. Of, you know, going into time here, like getting get running low on time. He's using a whip tail to equip the Dryden here. In that first play where the zoo misplayed and lost his trident, what was the mistake? It was it was his his trident was impermanenced, and he equipped a whiptail from hand when uh, the dupe frog attacked the trident, and trident still negated. No matter if you added an, three more equips, you know it's still negated, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get to banish or it doesn't get the attack boost. Yeah. Yeah, it is Ash and Desires in the zoo player's hand. And yeah, he admits defeat here. He showed yeah. the third desires. So side deck wise, we're gonna see the zoo player put in like lightning storms probably and stuff like that. Even though he is going first, just because like one trap card stops your entire turn. That's what made the paleo deck so good yeah. versus zoo. Yep. Uh, the Paleo player is probably going to have, like, going second stuff versus Dryden, maybe. Or maybe just, like, trap cards again. Like, they just beat Zoo. I think if I'm Zoo, I'm praying that I'm playing the build from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> With Cosmics mm -hmm. and, you know, Prank in my deck and Twin yeah. Twister. Like, all those cards beat Paleo by themselves. That's probably why we saw, you know, Paleo fall out of the format. Just because yeah. so many cards came out of it. Like, um, Red Reboot's just game. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm putting in, if, if, if I'm the Zoo player, I'm still going first. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. putting in... Hopefully, I'm putting cards like Twister, Cosmics. Uh, if not, I'll have, I'm forced to put Storm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, then I'm trying to put uh, Pankratops. Just everything. I'm taking out every hand trap that just isn't relevant, you know what I mean? Because yeah. with Zoo, I'm playing a lot of hand traps. Just, mm -hmm. that just, I don't want to trade one-for-ones with a deck that does one-for-ones and gets the trap back. Yeah, you know what I mean? and also like Nib just doesn't do anything. Exactly, versus, um, exactly. Paleo's going to trap trick, waking the zoo player, calling it. That'd be crazy. And then when the waking gets ashed, because <laughs> that's one <laughs> of the only relevant hand traps I would have kept in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, main deck D barrier is kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's honestly, that guy say. Yeah, he, main deck D barrier is kind of crazy. Why would he pop the waking of dragon? Well, what they do is they use lightning storm, chain trap trick to set the waking, and then lightning, lightning storm, storm just resolves. resolves. Yeah, you you don't ever just know he's gonna you're hitting the waking. Yeah. It says, appears to me that Paleo is still good regardless of how the meta has shifted. Uh, like, going second, you have to have a lot of hand traps, and then your deck just doesn't do anything that turn. Yep. So it's just too slow when other decks are just doing so much more. Like, if it's going first, I think it has a strong chance to win that turn. Game mm -hmm. one, game one, turn one. Yeah. You know, you, you said my Infernoble deck can't beat, you know, four or five back row game one, turn one. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, especially if it's like Dynamiscus, Canadia, like Imperm, like yeah. actual solid cards. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, I really can't do anything at that point. But like the it, their most, the hardest games for Paleo are like game two and three, where there's so many cards coming in, like Twister, Storm, Match, Pankratops, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, the so, deck really needs to win game one. Yeah. So we're gonna go uh, back to game two. The Zodiac player doesn't have Twin Twisters or anything. He's probably has Lightning Storm because he opted to go second. Yeah. Uh, he let the Paleo go first, and Paleo actually opens pretty nice. He opens Swap. Uh, we don't know what else he opens with it. So he, he opens Swap. Yeah, he, spe swap. he special Swap, discard, dupe. Uh, Sin Ron Tonin. It's so weird that he's not going for the normal summon. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he realized he can bounce mm -hmm. and just use your normal summon for turn. <laughs> yeah. What's great with, like, Swap Fargus, if you just normal summon it, they're going to impermanent. Yeah. And then you just bounce back the hand, yep. discard summon, and now yep. you have Toad. I never special it first. Yeah, see, and he has imperm, so yeah. it would have worked really well there. And also, he could have imperm before he used the effect of Toad. So, I go, I usually go uh, draw phase uh, imperm on Toad. So, like, yeah. that way you have to tribute your Toad to negate my imperm, or you're just not getting a frog out of your deck during the standby. Yeah. He has strike in his hand. Pretty sure the zoo player loses here just because actually he messed up and keep going now. Yeah, he's gonna summon the thoroughblade. If he has a response here, it's gonna be really rough for zoo. Yeah. Or he's using the effect of thoroughblade. He's gonna let it go through. Gets he discards a ram. What did he draw? Shuffling too fast. Yeah. Oh, and Kim Paul says the zoo monster. Yeah. Paleo is opening all the old gas, like all the old gas. That's that's mm -hmm. a past turn if you don't got barrage. Yeah, he has desires, thoroughblade, and whiptail. That's what I was able to see in hand. Banished Tenga hit with Ash. Ash, yeah, this game is over for the zoo player. He's in such a rough spot. By the next time he gets a turn, next turn, David's going to have two, three frogs on board. Yeah. Honestly, it's probably just going to be game, yeah. depending on what his extra deck is. Because he does have the setup for it. And he's going to set one pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stand by face. He's going to get an, another frog. He's going to strike that. That's strong. And he's going to add back swap to hand. <laughs> yeah. And full combo again. Mm -hmm. So it's Avers, Thoroughblade, Whiptail, and Zeus hand. So that whole imperm for Macabre all the time versus Invoke, they always have Invocation. Mm-hmm. That can pause is way too soon. Should wait on dry and summon. No, I'm waiting on the. Kim I mean, I'm a can pausing on normal because yeah. you don't know what he's doing. Like I'm, I'm can pausing on your normal summon. It's fine. If I can pause dry and you get to pop something, mm -hmm. like I'm just gonna hit your normal. It was also like common back in the day for people just to summon Dryden as the first yep. one to help play around D barrier, yep. which we did see in the Paleo's yeah. deck. So Zodiac should just scoop now. Uh, the strike actually put him back in a better spot. He can play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not worth scooping yeah, because... I wouldn't scoop. Yeah, if you scoop, you just lose the match. Yeah, cause, yeah exactly. And you're on stream. Yeah, I'm know? not Yeah, I'm not scooping here. Yeah. Because, uh, like, all I have to fight through on my turn is a Toad. Mm -hmm. So far, like, to my knowledge, all I have to fight through is a Toad in the back row. Mm-hmm. Christian said, what's a good, Austin? The Blessing. What's hey, good, Christian? Hey, he you. was playing yesterday, right? That's Evil Mermails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing it. Yeah. What's good, Evil Mermails? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that was you, right? I'm in the Infernoble group, and everybody always say your name. I didn't even know that was you yesterday, bro. 
He said, Zoo Players opens Pod Desire so much, may as well add Ogre. Yeah, we watched Zoo Players open Pod Desire every single game yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, every single game. Someone says he has another pod in his hand. LOL, LOL. Play Three Desires, you said. Somebody tag Zachariah Butler in this, like, mm. right now. <laughs> that dude loves Three Desires. Me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Zachariah Butler, you hate to see it, though. I yeah, I mean, you it. really do hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> So he's going to Trap Trick, set Compulse from deck. That's, like, game. Yeah. <laughs> that I, I mean, that's, like, one thing I can never, like, wrap my mind around is I can never force myself to play Three Desires. Like, I understand the concept behind mm. it. Like, I fully understand the concept behind it. You want to open it if you're yeah. playing any of your deck. And, mm. like, breaking when you don't have Desires, you would always rather have Desires than when you break. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, un I fully understand the concept. Yeah. That just happens to me personally, like, a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, <laughs> a lot. So I just play two. Like, that happens to me a lot. Whenever I play style, I try to play two. Like, that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Paleo player is going to take this. It's going to be a blowout here. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Like, game one seeing D barrier. Yeah, so actually, actually think about this. This I know it's going to sound crazy. So if Zodiac shifts back into the format <laughs> and becomes one of the best decks, does yeah. that make Paleo shift back into the format? Yes, 100%. That's actually crazy. Like, if Zoo is, like, the best deck, then Paleo just becomes, like, the deck to beat. Yeah, like it's, it, yeah deck. it's insane. Do we go back to a 20, are we in 2017? Like, what's mm -hmm. happening here? It's crazy. James here with Rogue Duelist Trade. Pro Play Games and I started the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! Investments Patreon. As a patron, you can pre-order the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! releases at near wholesale rates, join a community of TCG vendors, and get direct support from me and PPG. You'll get distribution-like access, getting prices as low as $630 per case for main sets, not to mention access to other invaluable perks like Q&As and product ratios before release. Our mission is to help you make a successful side business out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Guys, don't wait. Spots are limited. Check out the Patreon today in the link down below. I'll see you there.